Guys, today I received Roberto and Julia at the office. Julia had Bell's palsy four years ago and was left with sequelae. Roberto underwent surgery to remove an ear tumor five years ago, which left him with facial paralysis as a side effect, further complicating his recovery. Hey, do you think there is anything specific we can do to help them recover from late onset facial paralysis more effectively? <laughs> When we talk about late facial paralysis, it is no longer useful to transfer a nerve to innervate the facial muscles themselves, as they have already atrophied definitively, and this procedure is no longer effective. Is there any additional action we can take to enhance the facial symmetry in this particular scenario? When we talk about reconstructive surgeries for late facial paralysis, we have three procedures. The first option involves the surgical transplantation of a muscle, such as the thigh or chewing muscle, to help facilitate the action of pulling the mouth into a smile. We have neurectomies, which is when we create a lesion in a good nerve on the side without paralysis, so that the face becomes more symmetrical. And we have myomectomies, which is when we take the muscle and make a lesion in it so that it no longer has movement when the patient speaks, smiles, gets angry. But doctor, am I going to injure the healthy side? Will this help me in any way or provide guidance? It depends. If when you speak, your mouth, on the side where you did not have facial paralysis moves in a very important way, it becomes clear to anyone looking at you that you have a severe facial paralysis. Therefore, we specifically target the muscles responsible for generating this heightened movement intensity. The idea here is for you to continue speaking well, eating well, and not have any functional changes only in the aesthetic part of facial paralysis. Understand the following, we are not offering a procedure that will make you return to 100% of what you were before. The idea of this surgery is to bring more symmetry and functionality to your issue. Another procedure that can be done is frontal neurectomy, where we cut the nerve in the forehead so that the patient, when they raise their eyebrows, has a surprised expression, for example. Don't make it obvious that you have paralysis because only one side lifts. But that is the subject for the next video. Do you want to learn more about the surgery options available for facial paralysis treatment? Like the video and follow our channel.